Okay, my sweet water signs. Um, sorry I haven't gotten on sooner. We have a lot of drama once again over here. Um, never listen to me when I say that the moons are not going to affect you because every single time I've ever said that, like ever, across the board, it's a shit show. It's a shit show. From now on, I'm going to tell you all that everything just sucks and it's just miserable and we're all going to die. Um, okay. I don't, I don't have time to like review today just because like I said, there's like so much going on right now, but I do want to show you the new deck of cards that Arnold sent me. Um, I can't, I don't have the box on me right now to tell you the, um, the name of it, but I will do a review of it. The artwork is stunning. It's, it's really beautiful. It's exactly the kind of artwork I like. He knows me so well. Um, I really like, you know, anything like old antique looking or romantic looking you know things of that nature so pisces you're up i'm a pisces <laughs> it's a shit show once again in my life my life is like it needs to be like a reality tv you wouldn't even believe it i won't even get started but let's see let's see what you guys have let's hope it's <laughs> let's hope it's an improvement from what's going on in my life at least we can laugh about it okay Give me a reading for Pisces. What messages do you have for Pisces? I hope you hope that fan's not distracting. I apologize if it is. Um, I was cleaning and uh, like obviously I'm disgusting, so it's like sweating and bleh. What messages do you have for Pisces? Would you like Pisces to know? I might pull out that new deck and for clarification of any of these cards, just to let you know. It's been cleaned and whatnot. Okay, Pisces. Oh, something you've been trying to manifest or, or create in your life really is like slow going. There's no sign of it coming into your life right now. I think it'd be a bit disappointing. Um, there's a heavy burden that is going to come to an end soon. It really is. It looks like you are in a long-term committed relationship, but you are also struggling financially. If you are not in a long-term um, committed relationship, one is coming along, okay? So that's that's some future info for you. Sorry, this is pulling at my hair a little too much and giving me a headache, so give me a second to, once again, lose focus. Okay, Pisces, your own card on the bottom of the deck is in reverse. That tells me that you are definitely struggling somewhat um, with your own thoughts, your own instinct, things of that nature. Um, I feel like karma is going to serve you well, though. I do. I feel like karma is going to... If you're, like, worried about things that are going on um, and how they're going to turn out, I actually see them going fairly positive for you. There's an emotional situation that you're tur turning your back on. I'm not really sure what that's about yet. You invested a little too much somewhere. Somebody's been keeping an eye on you. This would be a past person, somebody that you have not reconciled with or probably aren't even aware that they're keeping an eye on you. Maybe you are, but maybe you just don't care. The number six is relevant. You're having a hard time deciding where you should um, invest your time, your money, and your um, attention right now. I do see somebody's holding back uh, communication with you. This would be somebody who's like biting their tongue. Um, I feel like they, they want to reach out to you and say something and I don't know if it would be um, family relationship, something of that nature, but they're holding back. They're like, else they're holding back because they know what they're gonna say is gonna be really harsh and harmful or they're holding back because they're afraid that they're going to spill their guts and, and it's gonna hurt them in some way. I do see a major change happening very quickly for you, Pisces. Um, I want to say, and this is not because of the cards, I just want to tell you for a download, I feel like it's going to be around the 22nd, around the time that um, the retrograde happens. I think it's going to be a shell shock. I feel like it's going to be something that's going to seem really upsetting. There might even be two situations that are going to be kind of upsetting to you that end up working out in your best interest. And we have the goddamn tower. Okay, I'm gonna clar clarify the tower with the um, 
the sec the second deck. Okay, the newer deck. What's this tower about for Pisces? What's this tower about? Pisces, I do owe you a bonus too from last week, and I apologize that I didn't get that up. I will get bonuses up this week. Pisces, there's something you don't know about that's about to happen. It's going to change your world, okay? Whatever it is that you are, whatever situation you're in currently right now, something is about to happen. Huge, huge thing. Like I said, it could be two things, okay? And it's going to change everything. It's not going to just affect you, by the way. It's going to affect everybody that's around you as well. It could be your kids. It could be uh, relatives. It could be very close friends, something of that nature. And this is a flawed card. Okay. Okay. I am going to put these cards back for now because I feel like there's this is going to benefit you in the long run. It's not going to feel like it. It is definitely not going to. Saying keep an eye on that money. Um there are going to be, yeah, two very huge situations that are coming towards you. This is going to be a fight. This is definitely going to be a fight. It's going to be an internal struggle. It's also going to be like a, not a physical fight, but like a um, emotional battle for you. In the end, Pisces, in the end, it's going to work in your best interest, even if you don't feel it while it's happening okay we have the ten of pentacles as the outcome that's the best possible situation that's like it's funny somebody's like bitterly looking at you finally getting like the the karmic justice that you need okay um this could be financial this this is the pentacles this could be emotional this could be you know take it as it resonates and you know your life more than i do but this is going to be a pretty large situation and like I said I think this is the beginning of the end and at the bottom of the deck 10 10 10 okay like listen bottom of the deck we have the 10 of cups as well okay I feel like this there's there's mul many facets to this and I feel like you know your relationships or even if you don't have it yet is going to be very positive um I feel like your your finances are finally kind of kind of get straightened out there is somebody here that is um is doing shit behind your back. There's somebody here that is is trying to test fate, you know, and see how much they can get away with with you. Just keep that in mind. I do think that you could have be having car problems, by the way. Um, if not car problems, definitely some sort of travel issues. I see some sort of form of rejection about to happen and somebody shutting someone else out, laying it to rest, don't want anything else to do with this situation, whatever it is, you know, whatever um, is going on. Seven is also relevant. Um, and I have been studying numerology, just, just started looking at numerology, so I'm no expert by any means, but the number seven is the loner energy, so you may feel like very lonely right now and feel like you're the only person that um, you can turn to is, is yourself, like, you know, just feeling really cast out and not, not um, feeling like you have nowhere to turn. Good things are going to happen. It's going to take a lot to get you there, unfortunately. Three more cards for Pisces, please, and I think we'll probably end it. Somebody will be walking out of your life or you'll be walking out of their life in order to build elsewhere. And there you go. You have your, you have your King of Pentacles once again, okay? You're moving on. There's some betrayal there. You have a little bit of a glow up at the bottom of the deck where you're finally feeling settled again. Again, probably after all of this goddamn drama. Like, this is a lot of drama on this this table. And I get it. I understand. Um, I do see you po potentially getting married, Pisces. I do see you potentially ending in, like, a, a... If not marriage, it could just be, like, moving in together, moving away together, just, like, solidifying some sort of romantic relationship. Um, this person's clearly serious about you if they're coming out as the pentacles. Um, they could be older than you or they could just be um, uh, more stable than you are. Anyway, I'm going to end it at that. Um, I, I really don't like 
there's so much there's so much drama uh, even at the bottom of the other deck I had to take a little peek for you I apologize so I'm like I said I'm gonna by the end of the week I will do a bonus read to see how this turns out since um, we have all these planets, we have six planets going retrograde this summer, you know, so let's see uh, if we can get through it in one piece.